Hello, I am Dylan Sara, and welcome to my watercolour portrait class, which is also a zine class. And as well as watercolour, we'll also be using pencils, because the practice which I have developed has really focused on drawing and watercolour. Pencil and watercolour zine course sounds a bit long, so welcome to the watercolour portraiture class with me. I love portraiture and practice regularly, but the, the practice of doing direct drawing I find brings a, a real uh, a life, uh, a little bit of error into our perception, um, but the way we represent it and deal with it becomes a really fun, interesting uh, way to go about things. So you will learn observational drawing techniques. We will be looking at our reference, the way that we recognize distances, shapes, angles, and how these different elements interrelate in a reference and how we represent that on the paper is a really key part to the observational drawing practice, which I have developed. I'm gonna do a breakdown of the way I look at each image. And as we move through the portraits that we'll be doing, it's gonna become more automated where we don't necessarily have to spell it out every time and just become part of the practice. And each of our portraits is gonna have three phases. There will be the initial drawing with colored pencil, and then we'll have the watercolor phase where we flesh out our drawing with vibrant colors and establish our values and bring a dimensionality and play with the wateriness of watercolor. It has its own potentially chaotic, idiosyncratic effects that you can create with watercolor. So we're gonna be figuring out how we can let watercolor do its thing, create a, a space for which we can explore and just let it kind of bloom and blossom and that's going to be super fun. And then the third phase is tightening up the drawing. In addition to that, because I really love making zines, I'm going to show you how to make a PDF to print your own zine from the work that we'll be making. So loosen up, don't be afraid of the medium, just enjoy the process and I hope you're going to learn a lot and have a good time and have some nice portraits to share once you're done.